everyone again, welcome back dito sa ating YouTube channel. Again, this is Yana. In today's vlog, i-share ko sa inyo yung top 5 best bank na nagpapautang na kung saan pwede kayong makahiram ayon sa naging experience natin bilang nag-assist ng mga client na gustong mag-loan sa mga bangko. Pero bago ang lahat, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa ating YouTube channel, mag-subscribe na po kayo para makasali sa ating pamonthly pa-gcash giveaways. At dahil malapit ang ating anniversary sa March 25, ako ay mamimigay ng worth 5,000 pesos sa mga minabang natin na followers sa ating Facebook page na yan ang Insta Review. At syempre dito sa ating YouTube channel na yan ang Insta Review. Let's get back to the topic. Ang number one guys na nire-recommend ko na kung saan pwede kayong makahiram ay itong personal cash loan or salary stretch loan na ino-offer ni CTBC. Kay CTBC pwede kayong makahiram or you can borrow up to 1 million and meron silang payment terms na 12 months, 18 months, 24 hanggang 36 months plus receive your loan proceeds in as fast as one banking days. Meron silang payment terms na 12 months, 18 months, 24 hanggang 36 months and competitive interest rate at 1.39% to 1.79% monthly. Ito yung eligibility criteria ni CTBC. Mag-23 and 65 years old upon loan maturity with a minimum gross monthly income of 15 for bankers and 20,000 for non-bankers and working within the bank serviceable area. Pero guys, hindi ibig sabihin na dahil sinabi na 15,000 or 20,000 ay talagang maaprobahan kayo agad. Marami silang mga kinoconsider bago i-approve yung ating loan application. Kahit sumasawad ka ng 20,000 pero kung yung net pay mo ay napakababa tapos napakalayo pa yung pinanggagalingan mo, isipin ni bank yung back and forth na pamasahin nyo sa isang buwan kung magkano nga ba, kung magkano talaga yung matitira sa inyo, may bago nila i-approve yung ating loan application. Kaya sa akin talaga nag ako ng mga sumasahod ng 25,000 pataas. Kasi kahit pa paano, medyo malaki unti yung matitira pa na net pay. Okay? And must have at least 6 months work tenure with current employer or a total of 2 years working experience including work on irregular permanent status with office and home landline and mobile number. Yung landline number talaga ay kailangan pero minsan sa mga BPO, pag wala silang mga landline number na binibigay, ang hinihingi ay yung email or corporate email address and syempre must be a Filipino citizen. Ito naman yung mga requirements once na gusto natin mag-apply sa CTBC. Yung completely filled out application form, yung photocopy of ID issued by the employer with a photo and signature, photo of latest ITR or BIR form 2316 pero itong ITR 2316 naman ay optional lang siya. Okay lang na wala. And photocopy of proof of billing under current address. At dito nga sa proof of billing, dapat po walang cost due yan. At photocopy of one valid government issued ID with the photo and signature. At dapat po malinaw yung mga sinasubmit natin na ID. Kasi binabalik po ni bank yan kapag hindi malinaw. Then, signed data privacy notice and consent form. Ang number 2 guys na i-recommend ko sa inyo ay itong sa Security Bank. Ito naman yung features kapag gusto nyo mag sa Security Bank. Meron silang maximum loan amount na hanggang 2 million. Payment terms up to 36 months. Meron din silang 12 months, 18 months, 24 hanggang 36 months. Approval within 5 business days. Pero guys, hindi ibig sabihin na dahil sinabi na 5 days yung approval ay talagang ano, nasusunod lang ito yung 2 to 5 banking days na approval time kapag mabilis matawagan si client, mabilis matawagan si employer ni client for employment verification, ano, kompleto lahat yung mga requirements na submit natin at uh, tama yung nasa application form. Ito yung criteria to be eligible for security bank personal cash loan para sa mga employed, regular and permanent with current employer with total employment of at least one year. E si CTBC, okay lang kahit 6 months basta permanent sa present employer pero kay security bank at least 1 year. For call center, the minimum employment tenure is 3 years. Okay, medyo mataas yung qualifications for call center pero halos lahat naman talaga ng mga bangko medyo mataas yung qualifications nila sa mga call center. And minimum gross monthly income of 15 for Metro Manila or 12,000 outside Metro Manila pero Ito nga yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, hindi ibig sabihin na sinabing 12,000 eh talagang pwede. Tinitignan nila yung net pay. Okay? 
And uh, syempre, kung nagtatrabaho ka ba sa top corporation or hindi. Kasi maraming factor na kinukonsider. Galing ba siya sa Cavite, tapos nagtatrabaho sa Makati or sa Quezon City. Magkano yung pamasahin niya araw-araw. Magkano yung possible na matitira sa sahod ng client. And marami ba siyang sinusuportahan, di ba? Marami siyang pinagkakagastusan. So, ayan yung tinitignan. Kaya kahit sabihin na 12,000 pesos, parang malabo talaga. If self-employed naman with at least 2 continuous years of profitable operations in the same line of business, minimum gross monthly income of 30,000 for Metro Manila and 25,000 outside Metro Manila. And ito guys yung requirements ni Security Bank sa mga employed. Photocopy of company ID with clear photo and signature. Yung photocopy of one valid government issued ID with three specimen signature and latest one month pay slip at latest BIR form 2316 or latest certificate of employment. Ang maganda din dito kay Security Bank ay hindi ganun kadami yung requirements nila. Company ID, government ID, pay slip, then COE or ITR 2316. Tapos para naman sa mga self-employed, Two valid government issued IDs, latest ITR with BIR stamp, yung latest two year audited financial statement, SEC registration or DTI. So, ito siya, basahin nyo na lang, medyo marami. Ito nga, list of three suppliers and three customers with contact details and latest GIS for corporation. Yung interest rate naman nitong si Security Bank ay for as low as 1.39%. At number 3 guys na pwede nyo masubukan na mautangan nga na bangko ay si East West Bank. Advantage of applying with East West Bank, personal loan, flexible payment terms, meron nga silang 12 months, 18 months, 24 hanggang 36 months. Same lang din naman sa naunang napag-usapan natin si TBC at si Security Bank. And then, malaki din yung pwede nyo mahiram kasi pwede kayong makautang hanggang 2 million pesos. At mababa din ho yung monthly income na nire-require nila pwede kong makahiram yung sumasahod ng 20,000 pesos at non-collateral at no co-maker required. Uh, halos lahat naman talaga kapag sinasabi natin personal cash loan, halos talaga lahat ng mga bank non-collateral and no co-maker. Ito naman yung eligibility criteria for a loan. Must be a Filipino citizen, syempre, at must be regular permanent with current employer for at least 6 months. Must be at least 21 years old and not more than 65 years old upon loan maturity. Kapag self-employed naman daw, must have existing credit card for at least 1 year. If government employee, must have existing credit card from any bank. If employed, existing credit card is not required naman daw. Kapag si mga employed, si mga private companies, okay lang na wala silang credit card. Pero kasi kung government employees, mas prefer talaga nila yung may existing credit card at yung mga self-employed. And must have an existing credit card for at least 12 months. Uh, must have at least one landline, employment business, and one mobile number. And Pag mag-loan kayo, dapat pinoprovide yo yung company landline number kasi yun yung tatawagan ni bank for employment verification. If employed, gross monthly income must be at least 25000 within Metro Manila and 20000 for provincial areas. If self-employed, gross monthly income must be at least 50,000 pesos. Ito naman yung fully employed applicant need completely filled out and signed is Stress Bank personal loan application form. Photocopy of one valid photo bearing GD ties ID. Photocopy of BIR form 2316 W2 tax withheld or photocopy of latest one month pay slip, valid credit card reference or latest statement of account of the existing credit card and original copy of certificate of employment stating salary and position. At yung self-employed applicant need, completely filled out application form pa rin. Yung photocopy of one valid ID and latest ITR and audited financial statement, latest statement of account of the existing credit card, DTI registration certificate for sole proprietorship and SEC registration certificate with page attached reflecting total shares owned. At yung interest rate naman, cross loss 1.89% per month. At number 4 po na pwede nyo masubukan kung naghanap kayo ng pwedeng mautangan ay si Welcome Bank. Yung eligibility criteria para makapag-loan kay Welcome Bank must be a Filipino citizen 
at least 21 to 65 years of age, employed for at least one year with a minimum 20,000 monthly salary or income, an active credit card holder for one year with a minimum credit limit of 20,000. Required documents naman, ito yung two valid government IDs, two months recent pay slip, COE with position tenure and annual income, latest ITR, yung two months credit card statement, utility bill under your residential address, and additional documents may be required during credit evaluation. Payment terms, meron silang one year to three years, 12 months, 18 months, 24 to 36 months. So guys, yung estimated monthly interest rate ni Welcome Bank ay 1.60% per month. At number 5 guys, na pwede nyong mautangan na itong CIMB or yung loan na, na ino-offer ni CIMB. Ito yung CIMB features highlight, ay unsecured personal loan, minimum loan amount ay 30,000 at ang maximum din ay 1 million. Meron din silang loan tenure na 12 months, 24, 36, 48 hanggang 60 months or hanggang 5 years. Monthly add-on rates nitong si CIMB 1.12% to 1.95% correspond to annual contractual rate of 24%, 30%, or 36%. And income requirements of only 15,000 pesos. Mababa yung qualifications nitong si CIMB pagdating sa sahod or monthly income. Kasi 15,000 lang, pwede na kayong makapag-apply sa kanila. Ito naman guys, yung criteria to be eligible for CIMB personal cash loan, individuals only. Applicant must be at least 21 years old. At most must be no older than 65 upon loan maturity. Applicant must be a Philippine citizen and a non-US person. Applicant must have a Philippine mailing address and active Philippine mobile number. Applicant must have a minimum gross monthly income of 15,000 pesos. Yan nga, sinasabi ko kanina. And... Applicant, if employed, must be tenured for at least 6 months or 1 year of continuous and employment unless employed in the top 15,000 corporation. Kapag daw self-employed si applicant, dapat po yung business niya ay nag-ooperate siya at least isang taon. And you also need any of the following valid IDs. Ito yung tinatanggap nila, yung driver's license, passport, PRC ID or Professional Regulation Commission, yung SSS or Social Security System, Yung Unified Multipurpose ID or Humid ID, yung Postal ID, Voters, or Comelect ID. At yung interest rate nga nitong CCIMB ay ranging from 1.12% to 1.95%. So yun lang guys, sinero ko lang sa inyo at nasa sa inyo kung saan nyo gustong mag-apply ng loan. Base sa research na ginawa natin, ito yung mga bank na talagang pinapriority nila yung mga ano personal cash loan yung mga applicant na gusto mag-loan nga sa kanila at mabilis yung approval and malalaman nyo agad sa kanila kung approve or declined yung ating loan application so yun lang guys anyway thank you for watching please don't forget to click the subscribe button sana i-like nyo yung video na ito and don't forget to share thank you guys and bye bye no time to apply for a bank personal cash loan? Yan is here to help you I assist pre-qualified clients with basic monthly income at least 25,000 per month. Hassle-free at walang fee. Lahat ng process sa bank gagawin. 2 to 5 banking days lang approval. Loan up to 2 million. Email amawanyana at gmail.com Or message my FB page, Yana Insta Review. Note, qualifications may vary subject to the bank's terms and policies.